fly? <laughs> okay, so here's the fly wheel. Oh, yeah. No, we'll, we'll start here. Here's the starter. I've taken it out. And here's the worm What's we were that? talking about. The right? Thread. Okay, this is called a worm gear. And so whenever the starter starts spinning, it sucks it in. And, and then when, like and, when, and then this thing starts to spin. Because it connects in here, right? Here on the teeth. And actually you can see the teeth real nice now too, see? Pretty so the, the this is called the Bendix. The Bendix engages the flywheel on those teeth right there, causes it to spin. Once the engine gets started and this is spinning faster, it pushes it pushes it right back off the other way to here. Okay, so we talked about that. This is the flywheel. The flywheel is mostly just a big chunk of steel that gives inertia to this thing to help keep it running and to help smooth it out. Oh, wait. I want to show the pistons. They're so cool. Okay, so. They make music. Mm -hmm. Piston so, music. This is, this is the clutch plate. So if you remember over here on the... Step back over here. See the... I, I, I know. Be careful. <laughs> are you looking at your transmission? Great. See the pilot shaft in here? The, this is the pilot yeah. shaft. This thing fits right on those teeth. Or does it? No, well, allegedly it does. Other way? And it should go. There we go. Perfect. So it fits right on the teeth like that. And this is what, this is the part that actually causes the, in, lets the engine turn the transmission. So the way this works. This, this is the clutch. Okay. Housing. This is a stick shift, right? Yes. Manual transmission. And this thing actually floats in here like this. It floats. It floats. See, there's, like, no, there's no connection. Well, it sits on a... Well, it sits on the shaft, so it holds it in the same spot. But, but there's no... It's clutch dust. So oh, a, can I do that? Or is it going to get me dirty? Yeah, it's dirty, dirty. But Darn see, it! There's a metal plate in the middle. Because I don't want to get your phone. And there's dirty. this crud all over here. This is this is the, like a brake pad in a modern thing. And in here springs, and I, don't, I can't turn it because it's really hard to turn. But what happens is, when this is the engine spinning, right? Mm -hmm. And when you first throw it in the gear and let off the clutch, this thing's stationary, or it's not spinning at the same speed as this. So there's this big these things. There's big. They're, they're little, but they're really strong springs in there that let it do in, this a little bit. In the bumps? Yeah, inside the bumps are springs in there. And that lets this inside piece right here move just a little bit differently from this piece. Okay. Now, the other day we talked about this is the actual clutch mechanism here. Get wrong. Right, so I can push these just a teeny tiny bit with my fingers. Can I try? But, well, you can try, but you're not going to move them. Put it down. Ah, uh, no. So, see here, we talked about these sit on this like a seesaw, right? Mm -hmm. Teeter totter. Once it move. So, when I press this, it pulls up there and it pulls this big plate that I can't even move with my fingers because the springs are so strong. It pulls it back like this because those screws, those are basically studs right there. So, it's pushing this, pulling this this way. These to drop this on my feet. And you got all these big honking springs inside of here holding it together. So when this is together, it's kind of floating like this. I remember when that was on there. Yeah, I just took it off this off. morning. So it's on here like this and this whole thing spins together as one piece. And then your pistons. Right. Because there's bolts. There's actually bolts that go in right here and hold this all together. Here's the bolt holes. And when you press the clutch, this pulls in. This pulls this away from this thing. And so now there's no pressure on this, and this thing can just kind of float around in here and spin at a different speed. That's how you disengage. So, now we talked about... Your intake and exhaust, right? Intake and exhaust valves. And this is actually the, the, the seal, the gasket for the head. Ew. So... That's so messed up. Well, like, it's a piece of copper with a piece of fiber in between with a piece of copper. You should just take it off. I can't because the studs are in the way here. Oh, I'm you gonna have to get the studs out? Well, I can work it off in a little bit, but... I hit it. Sorry. That's all right. So, okay. So, we talked about these. These valves. So Your if you look head's here, in the way. Look over here. With all the little itty-bitty springs. 
You might be careful. Oh! Yeah, the shin knockers. Oh, ha! You got to come along. I've done that. Ew. I'm not worried about my shin. So remember the distributor. Oh, that's so dirty in there. Remember the distributor sat up here. Yes. And it has that shaft on it. But wasn't it like in the middle? Yeah, let me find it. It was. No, no, no. The distributor was it? Wasn't it like right here or here? It was right. There. there. See that? Okay. I told you there's a, a thing down in there just like that, way yeah. down deep. And that you couldn't even see it? It's right there. So this actually sits right here, like this. Can you zoom out on this thing? Yeah, use the volume. Er. Uh, no. I zoom it on it. out. It okay. My yeah. knees kind of hurt. Yeah, it was like paintball all day yesterday. There we go. Oh man. So this goes in here like this. Like that. Now when this thing spins, see that? What? See right here where this is turning and it's causing this to turn? Ooh, it's turning. And no, and up here, it's the same piece of metal. It's the same piece of metal. I knew that. It's the same shaft all connected together in here. So down in here, there's a gear. It's turning this oh, and causing this to go, okay? Daddy. All right, just a minute. We're almost done. Oh. And then here's the springs that hold the valves down. So if these